Alright guys, welcome back to another episode of Current no Kaseki last episode. We just did a dungeon and saved Sada. And then the the president got brutally murdered by Melchior. He had it coming to be honest, but either way it's fine. This episode we got we, we proceed today with doing post stuff for the film festival. And anyway, we're gonna be going to what this place is. A spa. Oh, hello everyone. Perfect time. We were just about to reach out to you as a matter of fact. Uh, Prince Charade and Naja. The actresses are here too. Even Sophie is here. I wasn't expecting to run into everyone here. Do you need us with something? Oh, actually, the prince is the one who sent us as an invitation. He suggested we take a morning bath to clean up and invigorate us before the parade and awards ceremony. I want to make sure I tried it once anyway, so this seemed like a pretty good opportunity. Oh, but I thought it might not look appropriate if I invited only girls, so I was hoping you and your associates could join me. <laughs> you planned this, Shereed. Okay, okay, okay. I, I consider you cultured. <laughs> yeah, you're cultured. <laughs> well, we still have time sometime before the parade. What do you say, Master Vaughn? What I say is a pretty rare opportunity, and one should take considering it's reserved for us. And we'll join you then. <laughs> you want any? You just want any excuse to get in the bath, don't you? Yeah, well, since we're here anyway, we may as well. Ah, this is the life. What a great opportunity to have our, the place to ourselves. I feel like all my fatigue is just stripping away. <laughs> You really are getting up there, old man. The day just started and you're already tired? Oh, I do understand what you're trying to say, though, Vaughn. Even though I may not look like it, my days are completely booked as well. I need to take every chance like this that I can get. It truly gives you the sensation of being able to look yourself from the inside and out and wash all the way to filth. You guys are really thinking about your baths. Oh, I just knew you understand, Prince. I feel exactly the same way. Sure, this place might be good for socializing with others, but first and foremost, it exists to allow you to have a dialogue with yourself. Uh huh, exactly! I see great things in you, Vaughn. It's like happy hour at the old folks' home in here. Alright, enough of that. Let's have a contest, a simple endurance battle. The heck are you on about? This place is sacred, you know. No, no, that actually sounds perfect. For competitions and also a dialogue between people's souls, am I wrong? Not a clue. What's the matter, though, old man? You scared? I mean, based on what we can of your s see of your stamina, I'm sure you're afraid of losing. <laughs> you trying to piss me off? All right, fine, I'm in. Aha, uh -huh, time for the continuation of the battle we did not get to finish in the dunes. Your boys are getting quite excited over there. Children of all of them. Haha, <laughs> I must report this to Sherry's younger sister. Oh yeah, she is quite well established, right? She helps out the prince quite a bit as well as I hear. Hee <laughs> hee. That aside, Judith. When did you go get so close to Vaughn and his team? D -d 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 what are you talking about? I'm not even close to them at all. Hee <laughs> hee. What's with that silly smile supposed to mean? Ah. Uh, so that's how Aida went. I appreciate you telling- Oh, finally! Finally you tell him, fairy. I did read the guild's report and heard the story from Albus, but it didn't hit me until now. She was super cool to the very end, then. Yes, she was, truly was amazing. I was hoping to have a chance to go out with her, Zeno and Leo together again. I mean, hoping to have a chance to go out with her, Zeno and Leo together again. But sh but she went and died just like the cheap. Miss V. Ah, sorry to get all sad like this. It's not all that bad. Huh? Well, thanks to our shared connection to her, the two of us were able to connect with each other. Oh, for our younger sisters. I just have the feeling that our meeting is just somewhat we're gonna, something we're gonna remember for a long time. I feel the same way. After hearing about you from Aida, I just knew I needed to meet you one day. Although you're pretty different from what I imagined. Being able to talk to you like this is making me so happy, though. I'm glad to hear it. It's not like I'd ever replace her, but... I'm a former Jaeger, too. Watching the way you fight, I could see her through you. So if there's anything you want to ask about for rent, I'd be glad to help. Fee, thank you very much. Well then, can I ask you something right now? Hmm. 
I was wondering if this ever since we got in the bath, but everyone else, but everyone else but me has a nice body. <laughs> Is it possible that one day I might look like everyone else? Well, that's an unexpected question. It's entirely out of the blue. I knew it. It may not be possible. I suppose it's true. The two actresses are pretty good looking, and the, and the others too. I think it'd be fine, fairy. Considering your age, I'm sure you're gonna hit a grope spurt soon. Copium! <laughs> that's a lot of copium! <laughs> really? I was the type to suddenly grow up at, all up at once when I became an adult. Ah, uh, fairy, fee, can I join you? Ah. Uh, so, someday, I'm sure I'll look just like Agnes. <laughs> can you stop bringing up her size for all I care? <laughs> you said you're a Ramus student, Agnes. Yes, I am. A first year at Aramis High School. First year. You remind me of my form or more for us, president. Ooh. <laughs> Ooh. <laughs> Emma. Ah, <laughs> uh, yes, Emma. Class president. Just a friend from school. Well, anyway, fairy, continuing on from before. Sometimes it's important to learn how to give up. Hey? What do you mean, continuing? You just completely changed tone? <laughs> what do you mean, give up? Um, what are you two even talking about here? It has nothing to do with you, clearly. I need to appreciate the things you have. What is this strange feeling of resentment? <laughs> uh... Damn it! Uh, how can I lose to this brat? I'm telling you, you're getting up there, old man. I can't even argue anymore. Aha! Uh -huh. Although I was first out, I still was quite enter it was still quite entertaining for me. I appreciate you standing the time with me. Let's have another naked discussion when we can. Well, next time it better be when we just went to a nightclub, I'd say. Oh, that is also a great option, too. Your Highness, please be mindful of your position. Ahem. <coughs> of course, that was a joke. Nah, nah, it's not a joke. We can go to a nightclub anytime you want, Sharid. Heh, <laughs> we're gonna have to make sure that scary woman doesn't catch us when we go. Hey, don't egg him on. He, he'll really do it. You guys seemed to hit it off, didn't you? Not sure we'd actually be happy or better or not. Well, anyway, we're gonna hang out and relax a bit longer here. I'll be counting on all of you during the parade today. Understood, we'll continue our patrol of the festival for now, then. The two to talk to Fee. Hope you guys are having a lot of fun over there. Honestly, we had a similar kind of thing going on, but I can't say I don't understand. Considering the connection you two have, I'm not surprised. Yes, I'm so glad I was able to have a nice chat about Aida. It was very interesting to get Fee's Fraser's perspective on life as a Jaeger, too. <laughs> it wasn't anything too profound. I do hope the experiences could, I shared could offer some value in the future. Wait, did the girls actually have a serious chat while we're fooling around? Indeed. Although at the end, the talk took a hard turn towards the normal teen girl discussion. Is that? You don't have to tell Aaron of all people. I'm really glad I got the chance to call me with Fairy. From here on out, we need to put both everything we have into taking out a model for Aida's shake. Huh, that game was something else. I do quite love the bath. Of course, we were physically naked. <laughs> but in a contest like that, all sorts of things are fully exposed. <laughs> yeah, the game's not really get going, didn't it? This old man's age is one thing that was fully exposed, that's for sure. Aaron? You know you're less than five years away from being like me, right? <laughs> Mon, what in the world were you three doing over there? <laughs> There's some manly naked stuff. You don't have to worry about it. I like to report that I could hear your strange discussions from the woman's back. Huh, well, you guys are very fun to hang out with. Girls included, more than I thought even. Once the festival is over, when we finish up our investigation, I would like to extend a personal invitation to see you all again. Well, that'd be really great if you can make it happen, your highness. Start training so hard so that the next time we have a contest, I don't lose. Heh, <laughs> don't be so childish. You really ought to just accept your age. Huh, I should train for that moment too. Let's have another great battle when we have the chance then. Seriously, I could hear the prince all the way in the woman's bath. You need a lot. I need you to be more firm with him. If you start saying things that could compromise his position. Such criticism will not be viewed as treason or anything. I just heard that over Erebonian's prince requires even harsher treatment at times. Well, honestly, I like to make the excuse that it was all on his suggestion, but that wouldn't be entirely true. You must really have it rough. I oh, know, that is my duty as his escort. I am honored to be able to protect and serve such a unique individual. Well, I'm glad that you were able to say that at least, but... 
You didn't get involved in the conversation in the woman's bath too much, did you, Nadja? But your body looked pretty amazing. Oh yeah. I bet you look pretty, full with sexy muscles hiding under that dull suit of hers. That can get the image out of my head. Indeed, I was very impressed to see Miss Nadja's muscles up close as well. She's very lean and tight in her body, but without haste, and though you will not be able to tell from a distance exactly how her occupation should be. I devote myself much of my time refining my skill in the Royal Court's swordsmanship. It's not something I paid particularly for closer attention in the past, but it is not a bad thing to be complimented like this. Does not expect I hurt to react. Judith. <laughs> Thanks to you guys, the Princess invitation, invitation, I feel so relaxed. Now I'm absolutely prepared, and all that's left is to conserve my strength. Uh, thanks to this, I was able to relax both body and mind. I do hope that Shaheen and Saru are able to relax as well. Sure, we'll be okay. We all believe in them, after all. Now I head to the Entertainment District. We could heal our CP. Not screw it. Why not? Alright. Can we get our CP healed? Finally? I hope it heals CP. Pog. Alright. What did we get? EX. I'm actually curious. HP. And strength. And that's probably it. All the sap boosters I can find. <sighs> All right, let's see here. Entertainment district. Yes, Ikka. Oh wait, wrong person. He inspects cocktail. Oh, Bermati. I have the image of my own for a perfect cocktail. I can get the ingredients. Fine, we'd be a deer and help you out with this. We'll be waiting in the hotel's pool area. Oh, a request from Bermati. He always helps us out, so I'd love to give back to him a bit. Alright, head to the hotel and talk to Mario. Where's Mario? She must be over there, right? Over here. Oh, it's the Spriggan team. Thanks for the help yesterday. I just went straight to the bed after that, and when I woke up, it was the day of the festival. Wow. You look totally fine now, even though you got kidnapped yesterday. <laughs> yep, just going to sleep was enough to wash my fear away. I didn't expect to find this big scope in Darbad. So, even so, without Dingo, I decided to go out and conduct some interviews on my own. Wow. You never lose heart. You're very strong, Mario. Of course, I am. That's one of my strong points. I'll never give up until I catch up with Dingo and finally force him to fix himself. Head into the pool area. Alright, there's an active voice, boys. Oh, <laughs> the bear skin rate, boys. Wow, the bear skin rate. <laughs> uh, all right. Optional side quest. Chapter three side quest. Creating a special cocktail. Translator Kofi. Talk tomorrow near, near the pool area. Hotel area. Oh, oh wow! You guys came actually to see me. Well, I was surprised to get a request from you of all people. You of all pe 
people didn't need to go out of your way to post something on the message board and you could have just called me directly. Ah, uh, yes. I figured you'd say that. Regardless, I want to respect your procedures and I have you accept as a proper request. Don't need to consult with you on something like this is a bit embarrassing. I don't mind helping out, sounds like you don't need it done today. What kind of resi- What kind of you planning to make? Hmm? I'm so glad that you asked. The challenges for tonight's competition were announced in advance, you see. We're supposed to make a variation of the city's signature di drink, the Tharbad Night. Oh? I drank one at the nightclub. It was sweet, but didn't overdo it. I see, so the other night, huh? Ah, when Vaughn and Aaron went off and had fun without us. Go on, Bernamati, please. <laughs> the Tharbad Night is inspired by the Desert Nights. Desert Nights. It's a dark blue drink decorated with a star-shaped gold leaf cut. It meant to capture the night with its stars elegantly de decorating the indigo sky. A starry night sky is pr especially pretty in the desert, after all. I understand. I suppose that with no light pollution out in the desert, the sky would be completely dark on and the star's light would be truly captivating. Exactly. I wanted to add something to that arrangement. I think my job is an informant to add to the image of the cocktail. Something like sharing dangerous secrets on a mellow night. I want to display with that drink radiation that blends the colors of azure and crimson. That sounds so mature. I wish I was old enough to try it. That sounds like a wonderful idea, Bramani. Mm -hmm. Thank you, thank you. I was thinking I could add a red hue using juice from a rare red cactus. But I also want the accent of black pomegranate seeds and light the taste buds. So basically, we need to get those two ingredients then. That's right. Usually both should be available somewhere within the city. Red cactus... Verity makes it highly valued, so you may have to be more third to find it. There's a more pong I mean, I'm looking for it, which is a premium quality item from various night called the Night's Sun. Whereas it names derived from its color, which is up compared to a brilliant black light shining through the darkness, yes? You sure you know your stuff, dear? Maybe something hard to find in the regular market, so searching bazaar could be a smarter bet. The tough part is we're approaching the deadline for the challenge. I know it seems like I have my priorities out of order, cutting it close. I understand you want to play the best hand possible and ensure your victory. It's exactly how you get results. However, you also lose a lot of time by collecting these types of materials. Yeah, it would have to get moving now. Alright. Well, consider this reimbursement for analyzing those drugs for us. Oh, come on. Now you know that was nothing. Thanks anyway. You really saved me here. Well, it seems like it's simple enough to get the two ingredients, but both of them sound pretty rare, huh? That's true, it might not be so tough if you talk to some of the vendors around the city. As for the red cactus, they only apparently grow in one strip in the dunes nearby. However, that strip can be notoriously hard to get due to, to the sandstorms. Because of that, I was told not to, it was not that sort of thing you could just go out and harvest every day. So it'd be optimal if you could scatter some without having to go out there, however. I think it's worth looking into. There's a risk, but maybe there's a most certain way to get our hands on some red cactus. Well, since we're out on the dunes already nearby yesterday, this shouldn't be a problem. Hehe, <laughs> I think we made our, our minds then. Cactus on the dunes and Pongra on the bazaar, eh? Guess I want either one, we'll see which we, which we get to it first. I leave the rest to you all, please be careful out there. <laughs> Woo! Go to the second option on the map and go to a green and press square. Oh great, we're gonna be talking to people. Oh boy. Oh, that one, that one's in the desert? Oh no, I don't- I cannot place where that's gonna be. Oh my, you guys looking for the night sun? They've been pretty popular today. May I ask what you mean by also? My last customers came here looking to buy something high quality pomegranates too. But just when I sold all 10 I had. Oh, 10 you say? Then that means you completely sold out? I apologize, I didn't realize you'd be so disappointed. Sorry, we we're just in a rush to get some. We only just started looking to keep our search and talk to another vendor, eh? Yeah, maybe you'll be able to help. Can you tell me what you plan to use the pomegranate for? Oh, yeah, sure thing. I want to explain this to you about the bartender competition. Ah, very interesting. If you have some time, you might even have some luck and talk to Farika. Farika? Farika is the young lady that works at the ice cream store in the entertainment district. 
is very familiar with what you're looking for. I think she'll be able to help you. You can tell her I sent you her way if that it helps. Of course, I can't make any promises. Thank you for your assistance. I might be able to get gone stuck without your insight. Alright, let's not drag this out too long. I'm going to run full speed a bit for it's for a cocktail, but I'm looking forward to putting back. Uh oh, Aaron is all, all in. Well, it's just as you said, enter the district could be a good place to hit. Thanks for the info. No problem, glad to help. Head to the desert and act the voice you play if you do not come here already. Alright. Where is it? You have got to be shitting me. Can I skip travel at least? Oh my god, we still have to run. Alright guys, I'll meet you at the green explanation mark. Give me guys a second. Jeez, we could have gone there if we just accepted this and then do the monster extermination, but you know, it's fine. Ah, eh, there it is, the red cactus. Nice, if we grab a bunch of we could sell the leftovers and make some real cash. Quick cash. Wow, you're really serious. I believe we'd be more prudent to take what we need. Team Red Cactus. Right now, trying to find a black pomegranate. Let's head back to town. Anyway. I think we're almost done with Chapter 3. This is the longest Chapter 3 I've ever done, for sure. Farika? Ah, uh, yes, I bought some night sun from Mornier. I think that limited editions of fleas help me cash in w w large spender. I can respect that aggressive business mindset. The film fest is a prime money at making opportunity for me. But you guys are looking for some of these pomegranates, too. Bon, explain the situation regarding the bartender company. Okay, I gotcha now. But right now, I don't have it for sale. I can't just hand over such a valuable ingredient. You can convince me otherwise, I may be able to make a deal with you, though. Make a deal somehow. Of course, nothing comes for free. In exchange for a pomegranate, how about you review your flavors? I review you, you say. This could be very useful info for you, Miss Farika. Especially with Master Vaughn being a con confectionery expert, he's quite well known in the, the world of sweets. Even I didn't know Van was that famous. You should realize they're exaggerating, kid. <laughs> That's called an ex <laughs> That's called sarcasm, fairy. You have a lot to learn. You have my attention. As things are, I haven't been decisive enough. It might be very useful, helpful to hear someone else's opinion. This is going to be depending on how useful feedback you can provide. How about the three of you try it on your half of your group? Sounds great. It's decided then. Well, Vaughn is the first one for sure. A sweet dude like you can't help but to stuff his face, right? No wonder you propose a review. What? No? <laughs> anyway, the two choices left how we adding in the kids. Is that really okay? That sounds like a big responsibility. I don't know how effectively I can reveal food. Don't be afraid to speak your minds. Just give us your impressions as they come to you. Alright then, time to start. I'll get things set up. Everyone waited a few minutes. And then Von Agnes and Fairy taste the black pomegranate ice cream. Hmm, this sweet and sour taste is delicious. The sweet has a nice balance. The sweet has a nice balance with the sour. It seems perfect to eat during the summertime, though. Um... So you both had the same- two had both the same thought. With our beds, floating temperatures, this ice is a great fit. Even I can't wait to try again. Right? It's that kind of thing I was aiming for. You only use the juice to make this? That's right. See, the sweetness is great, but I have mentioned the sour taste is lacking in some way. Perhaps you could try adding some of the pulp. I think it could add a nice accent to the taste. I guess I could give it a try, but I do think adding an accent is a good idea. So it's missing that sour punch. What about that? What about using the seeds? I never heard of anyone mixing the seeds into ice cream. A tough and tart treat. Tart seed seems like it. It wouldn't make it hard to enjoy, no? Black pomegranate is enjoyed with affinity for high temperatures and dryness. Because of that, the fruit is large with thin skin, and more importantly, the seeds are small and soft. She would eat a night sun seeds whole. You don't need to worry about the tartness. The nutty aroma will balance out the taste. This allows you to take advantage of both sweet and sour elements of pomegranate at once. I see. I think I owe you. Thank you for your advice. Our three back pomegranates are about enough. Are you okay with giving us that many? Keep my promises. Pretty, pretty insightful advice. 
Hey, hey. Yes, we did it, Agnes. I think it was mostly Vaughn's handiwork. I was happy to hear both of your honest thoughts. I'm glad you enjoyed it. Thanks to you two, I will be able to make something truly exquisite. Heh. <laughs> you have our support, whatever your new products end up being. Heh, <laughs> thanks. Here, take this for a cocktail you're helping to make. Send the bar to my regards. Your lights, Eric. Thanks for giving us some time for us. Taint three black pomegranates. You have both ingredients prepared. Yep, I'm sure Barmati is anxious. Let's get these to him. Alright, let's head back to Barmati's right now. Damn. <laughs> I know Vaughn is so passionate about his sweets, but maybe a bit too passionate. No? Yes or no, Jared? <laughs> oh, anyway. Oh, welcome back, my friends. Red cactus and black pomegranates, as per your request. And why do you sound so proud, Aaron? Well, I'm the only one who had to carry them all. Alright, now cut it out and hand over the goods. Gave Romani the red cactus and black pomegranates. Oh, you got both of them. To be sure, you could double check and confirm these are their crusty ingredients, Master Romani. Oh, yes, I have no complaints. This is perfect. You wonderful people ran into the desert just to help me. Thank you so much. Just hearing your excitement made it all worth it. With these, there's no way it would turn out just splendid. I'll make these a sample and have you guys give me some artifact feedback, okay? Yep, leave that to me. Must suck to be a minor munchkin. <laughs> you only just turned 20 yourself. We toured half the city and you two are still brimming with energy. Hmm. Fun out long awaited. I call it the Charm Knew It. Don't you mean Charm Nut? <laughs> I stuck the theme we discussed sharing dangerous secrets on a mellow night. Oh, the color gradation has a nice glow, and the night's sun floating when it adds a great accent. This is Barmani had planned. Hehe, <laughs> well then, Bon, if you wouldn't mind taste testing first, trees drink up. Even if it's a bit early to day to drink, I appreciate it. Cheers. Amazing. The sweetness combined with just about the right amount of sour is just exquisite. The black pomegranate flavor really hits home. And the bubbly texture is pretty fun. Whoa! <laughs> Sounds like to me you're giving me your full marks. Thanks to all of you, I was able to make an amazing cocktail. You'll see me compete against the other bartenders in top form. In fact, I think you would even without our help, your skills alone could have taken this whole competition. Thank you, Vaughn. I'll put all of them up to take the top spot. Dang. And you guys, here I was looking to have some meat. Make me one too, will you? Huh. I can't help but be jealous. Oh no, no, you thought I can make a drink for everyone. And of course, I can make a virgin version for the kids. Well, that sounds amazing. Hope you enjoy it, Fairy. How about you? If it is alright, I would like to give it a taste. Although, given that I'm currently in assignment, I like the non-alcoholic version too, please. Alright, from there, Ivan and the others took time, some time to relax with Bramati's new drink. Afterwards, they returned to their duties. Woo! Anyways, now that that's done, let's head to Vegas Films. We're about to we're about to finish soon, are we? All right, talk to them. Any progress in your investigation? Oh, it's the Spriggins. Wait, why would you tell you about progress even if there was? We're the ones who uncovered the place, right? Of course, we are interested in it. I mean, the culprit already identified himself, right? I mean, that Melchior guy. I mean, do you find any clues to where the culprits could be hiding? No. We have no idea how we got into it. Got in or how we escaped. The law of the file we recovered from the president did confirm he was in touch with the Mafia. There really aren't any traces of the culprit other than that one note. Seems like this guy's skilled with assassin tricks. Melchior. Didn't I imagine this would go so easily. Yep, didn't expect much from the beginning. What? You mean I ruined my date last night to conduct the on-site investigation for nothing? 
No, I'm not trying to tease you this time. These guys are just the real deal. You guys talk like you know something more. Anyway, the criminals are still at large. I do hope the film festival finishes without a hitch, but I get this feeling. Oh, by the way, I heard that you're planning to participate in the Guardian of the Parade. Yeah, we are. Though it's more part of an ongoing request by than anything official. I don't really think you'll listen, but please keep your nose out of any dangerous business. Doing with that stuff is our job as the police. Thank you for your warning. Yeah, I'll keep that in mind. There's no chance this guy is listening to us. <laughs> oh, brother. Uh-huh. You two, please be careful as well. Well, we've been all over and we didn't see anything too suspicious. We have nothing else to do. We can just hang out until Foxy Parade starts. Please do a seat. So everybody wait, select Raid for the Parade from the map. <laughs> you managed to get us some evidence regarding the horrible seizures last night, but... You should know that's not a good reason to go digging into the whole investigation, especially when someone was murdered. You should focus on handling your other requests instead. I got a report from the local police earlier that three bodies have been found in a nearby reservoir. They all been drowned. From what I heard, it seems like those three Devanchi brothers have been on our wanted list for a while. It doesn't seem like it's involved with the Vegas Films case, but I don't know anything just seems like it wouldn't make sense. We don't know who murdered him, but things are already complicated enough right now. I don't hope to get any worse. Talk to the Oasis area where you saw Strashina Saradansi. Where you talk to the guy who lost his wallet. Racer, you could talk to Gotch. Alright, talk to Gotch? Uh. It's over, it's over at the end, right? Okay, where is this person? Oh, you lot, get a good look. The Foxy Parade is ready to go. I'm sure even you guys will be surprised, and things will finish off in a flashy manner that surprises all expectations. I'm sure even Gaspar would have even wanted some dull and gloomy affair. I'll make it nice and flashy for his sake. About last hour, I plan to announce some details about it when I give my speech. Rumors have already started to circuit, and the guests won't be able to enjoy themselves if we keep them completely doubting everything. And just so you know, I don't prepare my speeches ahead of time. It's better to talk to how you feel as it comes to you. Okay. We are just about kind of finished. We're ready to start the film festival. Where though? Okay. How far are we on for time? Uh, 36 minutes. Okay, we're gonna end it off in a small episode, so yeah. We're gonna see what we got from the. 400 crystals, anyway. So yeah, next time on. <laughs> on Kuronokaseki. We're gonna proceed on to the main story and see what happens during the parade. See you guys all next time.